one of the most crucial components to making a, a website, at least for this class, is going to be managing your folders correctly. Um, now, there are a number of things to keep in mind when creating your folders and um, knowing where to save them. So, the first step is going to be logging into your public HTML folder. Now, once you've done this, what you're going to do is to create a folder within your public HTML. Now, I don't have access to the public HTML here, so I'm going to just make a folder called public HTML, and we can assume that this is my public drive that I have just connected to. So once in your public HTML folder, or your drive, you're going to create a new folder within that. So we're going to click this little gearbox, or we could go to File, New Folder, and we're going to label this folder Ed421, all lowercase, all one word. Okay, and within this folder, we're going to double click it, and we're going to be within the Ed421 folder, and we're going to add another folder. So File, New Folder, and we're going to name this folder Images all lowercase. When working with websites um, it can be very useful to use only lowercase um, letters and combining words into you know either one word or using the underscore between words uh, is also helpful. So now that we have our folders established we can open our we can close our folder We'll open our uh, Dreamweaver uh, HTML file here, and this is the one we've been working on, so I just have some basic text here at the top. So I want to walk you through the saving process. So I will do a file, save as, and I'm going to find my public HTML folder. Yours will be uh, a little bit different because you're actually connected, but once you get into your public HTML folder, go into your Ed421 folder and save your page here. Name your page. Um, you might want to name this one Home and save it within that Ed421 folder. Now if I minimize this Dreamweaver window and I go into my public folder, then into my Ed421 folder, you'll notice I have my home.html page here, and I have an images folder. Now this images folder is where I will be saving all of my images that I want to use on my website. And we'll get into that in uh, the next video when we talk about inserting images into our website.